Welcome to the NASA Tools video tutorial series created by the Software Engineering Institute at Carnegie Mellon University. This tutorial covers RW File Info, one of the tools in the Silk Analysis Tool Suite. RW File Info prints information about a Silk file. This is typically a raw flow file created from the RW Filter command, but you can also use RW File Info to get information about set, bag, and PMAP files. This is a list of the fields that RW File Info can show you. Format specifies whether the file is a set, bag, PMAP, or flow file. There are a number of different format labels for flow files, which are determined by the settings in RW Flow Pack. Version specifies the general layout of the file. All files created by Silk 1.0 and later are version 16 which means the file has a general header section and a data section. The general header contains a fixed 16-byte header and one or more header entries. Byte order refers to the Indianness of the file, as in Big Indian or Little Indian. It's a bit of a legacy field, but if you're converting old files between different chip types, it's good to take a look at this. Compression. RW Filter and some of the other tools allow you to specify a compression method when saving a new file. The method used would show up in this field. Header length is the length of the header section of the file in bytes. Record length is the length of an individual record in the data section, or the value 1 if the data section cannot be described in terms of records, such as IP sets, bags, or prefix maps. Count records is the number of records in the file. File size is the size of the file on disk. The command lines field shows the command or commands used to create the file. Record version is tied to the format field and is usually a subtype of the format field. Silk version is the version of Silk that created the file. Packed file info is the timestamp, flow type, and sensor for a file in the Silk data repository. Probe name contains probe information for files created by FlowCap. Annotations. RW Filter, as well as the Set, Bag, and PMAP builders all have a Note Add function that allows you to add a note to the end of the file. It's usually used to describe the file in your own words. Prefix map is the map name value for a prefix map file. IP set, the number and size of the nodes and leaves in an IP set file. Bag is the type and size of the key and counter in a bag file. Unless you are running a large, complex silk installation, most of the time you'll probably only be looking at record count, command lines, annotations, and maybe the silk version. Plus the prefix map, IP set, or bag fields, if those are the types of files you're looking at. The syntax for RW file info looks like this. The simplest way to use this command is just to type RW file info in the name of the file or files. But you also have some other options to get the output that you want. You can specify one or more of the fields we just talked about. This is particularly helpful if you have a large flow file and are looking for something other than the record count, which can take a long time for RW file info to count. The summary option prints a summary that lists the number of files processed the size of those files, and the number of records contained in those files. A lot of the time, all you want to know is the record count, so this option is useful for that, especially if you're looking at multiple files. No titles removes the field labels from the output. That's useful if you're automating this or need to pipe to some other Linux command. By default, RW file info uses the site configuration in your environment variables. However, if you don't have that path specified, or would like to use a different site configuration file, maybe the one from the same dataset as the file you're looking at, you can specify that with this site configuration file switch. The help switch will print all of these available options. And the version switch will show you the currently installed version of Silk and how it was configured. So let's take a look at how all of this works. So I have my Linux terminal open here, and I have the most recent version of Silk installed. If I do an RW file info dash dash version, I can see that I have Silk version 3.12 installed. 
If I have forgotten how to use RW file info, I can type RW file info dash dash help, and that will remind me how to use this command. I have a raw file that I've created by using RW filter. If I type RW file info my file dot raw and hit enter, I can see various information about my raw file. I have the format, version, byte order, and compression. I know the header length of myfile.raw. I know the length and version of the records in the file. I know that Silk version 3.12 was used to create this file. There are 591,539 flow records. And the size of the file on disk is about 52 megabytes. I have the command that was used to create this file, which, as you can see, is an RW filter query for five days worth of outbound traffic. Lastly, I see an annotation that this is my RW file info test file. If I had just wanted to see the command line, for example, I could have typed RW file info myfile.raw dash dash fields equals command. And that gives me the command line only. I could also do a command comma annotation, and I would see just those two fields. I can use the summary switch if I want to see a summary at the bottom. The summary switch is particularly helpful when you're looking at multiple files, for example, I have two raw files here, myfile.raw and myotherfile.raw. I can use RW file info to look at them both at the same time. And you can see that all the information shows up for each file. I can use the summary switch to summarize all of the files that I'm looking at. You can see that it adds the record count and the file sizes together. I can also use the field switch with multiple files if I want. So far we've looked at just raw flow files. RW file info can also be used with sets, bags, and pmaps. I have one of each type of file for us to look at, so let's take a look at the set file first. So here you can see pretty much the same information. I have my command lines and annotations at the bottom. Note here that the record count is not the number of IP addresses. To get the number of IP addresses, you can use rwsegcat. If I look at the bag file, I can see that count records has the number of keys in the file, and if I look at the bag field, I can tell that the key is IPv4 source IP address, and I'm summing the number of packets for each key. So in this case, I know that there are 363 IP addresses in my file. And last but not least, PMAPs. In this case, I see the map name. This field will only show up here if the pmap was given a name when it was built. Count records is not the number of IPs in the file, but it's an artifact of how RW file info processes the file's headers. Thank you for watching this video from our Nutsa Tools video tutorial series.